Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. Yes, yes, yes. I am wearing green lenses. I'll have these linked down below. They're pretty comfortable so far as my first day wearing them. But yeah, I figured we were kind of spice things up here for the day and switch things up, you know? For today's video, I'm going to be going with you guys to um, a bath and body works. I'm going to share with you guys all of the new products that they have. And I might turn this into a series where I go maybe once a month to see all of the new products that they have to provide because I've realized that they really do come out with a nice amount. Now, I'm extremely sensitive to scents i always say that so for me it's definitely worth it to go in smell and then either you know buy from the store or order it online i can't just be like the kind of girl who's like oh this looks good let me order it i wish but no anyways let's go ahead and get started and towards the end i'm gonna share with you guys a little haul of everything that i ended up picking up i'm really excited for these uh, and also in the video i ranked the candles from one to ten as i did in my previous bath and body works kind of shop with me video i'll have that video linked down below but yeah and also one last thing i obviously need to represent new york that's really why i got this shirt all right so let's get started so i'm going at night honestly i don't usually come here at night because it's not the safest neighborhood ever but listen when you have to go see the wizard of oz you're like what the hell <laughs> Heading into Bath and Body Works. I am so beyond excited. I mainly came for this display, honestly. This right here is the Happy Bright Fragrances. Um, I just could not get over how stunning this whole display is. We have a bunch of different candles. Each one is kind of color coordinated, and some of these candles are made with essential oils. Open eye, through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I breathe. First one up is pink lilac and a vanilla. It has a very light lilac -y scent. Very light vanilla -y scent as well. It smells a little bit like eucalyptus in a way. I don't know, that's the vibe I get. Um, I like it, it's not anything too crazy for me. Probably a 7.5 out of 10. Ironically, I really, really like this. Did not think that I would. It's the strawberry pound cake. It has a, like, a, a pretty good strawberry shortcake kind of scent to it. Um, and not overpowering. Again, ironically, did not expect that. I like it. I would say 9.5 out of 10 for sure. Next one up is fresh orange. It literally smells like 100% orange. It has like that citrusy, mm, orange juice slash orange candy-ish scent. Not too much of anything. 9 out of 10. Really good. Sunshine and daffodils is so amazing. Oh my goodness. It smells like, um, what does it smell like? One second, one second. Herbal Essences Shampoo and Conditioner. And I love when my house smells like that. 10 out of 10. I love you. Next up, we have Island Margarita. This smells like you're on vacation at home, which I love. I would rate this a 9 out of 10. Crystal Waters smells just like the ocean. It smells very fresh, pretty clean. Not like in a linen-y, cotton-y type of scent, but more of like an ocean breeze in a way. I like this a lot. 9 out of 10 for sure. Absolute 10 plus out of 10. This is my favorite one from all of the Happy Bright um, candles. <sighs> this smells like life at its finest. So freaking good, I'm obsessed. We then have Sea Island Blossom. It has a really nice, also shampoo-like scent. Very fresh, very um, calming in a way. I really like this one. I would say nine out of 10. Caribbean Escape is definitely not for me. Um, on first whiff, it kind of smells like spoiled food. I don't know, I don't know. Um, but then as I kept smelling, I'm like, okay, not bad. Uh, um, I don't know though, like five out of 10, I'd say. Like definitely not anything I'm crazy over. My nose is on a mission, I'm telling you. The Georgia Peach um, Palette, I was about to say Georgia Peach Palette, what? <laughs> the Georgia Peach um, Candle smells like 100% peach candy. A little bit artificial, mm, 6.5 out of 10. Pineapple mango is one that I wish I can burn. It definitely seems like it's gonna give me a headache. It has a pretty sugary scent. You can smell more pineapple than mango. But if you like um, fruit scented candles, you'll probably really like it. It smells good, but a little bit too strong for my life. Lemon mint leaf smells literally just like the name states, like they nailed this one. It kind of reminds me of, like lemon mint tea in a way. Um, it's pretty good. I probably burn this when I take baths, which is never, but when I wish I would take a bath probably. Uh, 8.8 .8 out of 10. This right here, Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, is one I remember burning, I want to say. Um, it has a very uh, true passion fruit scent. Um, 6.2 out of 10. <laughs> when did I get into points over here? It was usually like 6 or 7. Now it's like 6.2, 7.3. Uh, eucalyptus rain is really nice. It definitely smells like... Um, just a rainy, rainy day. Like, you know when you go out and you just take a whiff of the air? That's what it smells like. They nailed this one as well. I like it. Um, 
depends what mood I'd be in to burn it. Depends. Um, anyway, probably uh, 8.8 .8 out of 10. Blue Orchid Skies kind of combines a woodsy slash apple-y um, fresh kind of scent. I like this one. It's pretty different. A little bit strong, but not bad at all. 9 out of 10. They have the cutest of Valentine's Day display over here. Adorable. I'm pretty sure most of these candles are not for Valentine's Day, but they're all in the Valentine's Day section. So let's get started with all the goodies. First one up is Be Mine, the cutest, cutest uh, package candle. Pink Apple Punch is really good, 8 out of 10. Reminds me of like going into like the spring months. Black Cherry is gorgeous. It smells exactly like black cherry ices, like literally exactly the same. Banana Bundt Cake is one I wish my head can handle. It's probably a 4 out of 10 for me. I just can't handle it. I wish, it's so pretty. Lavender Marshmallow literally has a hint of lavender and marshmallow. It has a good combination of both. 8 out of 10. Unicorn Sprinkles is so, so good. It smells amazing. 10 out of 10. It's like sugary but not headachy. I don't know. I love this. Glazed Cinnamon Bun is only one that I can wish to burn. Um, 4 out of 10. I find that a lot of uh, baked goods are just not my style. Although I wish but uh, my brain cannot handle. We also have Passion Fruit Vanilla Cupcake which smells just like vanilla cupcakes. A little bit of um, passion fruit in there, but mainly like vanilla. It's more of a food type of scent, so for me it'll be like rated much lower, but I know a lot of people are into food scents, so if you are, smells good. Bit strong though. Butterscotch toffee is one that I would only wish to also burn, and not something that my head can handle. It smells good if you like this kind of like vibe. I feel like it, it, they nailed this one too. Um, but for me, it would be like a 4 out of 10. Fresh cut lilacs literally smells like a fresh uh, bouquet of lilacs. Like, they really did a good job with this one too. They nailed it. They nailed it. Um, it has a little bit... Mm, I don't know. I'm not really feeling this one, honestly. I would say 7 out of 10. 6.5 6 out of 10. Blueberry pie just reminds me of um, Trix cereal. You know, when it's kind of like soaked in the milk and it's been there for like a good 10 minutes. And then you kind of come back thinking like, am I finishing up the cereal or not? That's what this smells like. It smells pretty good. It smells pretty good. 9 out of 10. This is the baby I am talking about. 10 out of 10. The perfect spring. You are the perfect candle, okay? Um, very fresh, clean. Um, it smells like, mm, I don't know, tree-like? Lavender vanilla is one that I would probably use maybe for the bathroom. It has that bathroom-y kind of scent in a good way, not in a bad way. Um, 7 out of 10. Vanilla birch smells like this man that I went out with. I swear his cologne smells exactly like this. I kind of like it. I love it. I mean, I don't, I don't like, like, like him really because I'm over that. <laughs> but um, I mean, I can make new memories with the scent and yeah, I'm feeling it 10 out of 10 plus plus. So good. If you want a man in your life and you don't have one, here. Also, if mahogany teakwood wasn't enough, they have mahogany teakwood high intensity, which is like with 10 extra shots of mahogany teakwood in there. So if you like those heavy, heavy scents, um, this is amazing. It smells like um, Hollister, but um, amped up for sure. So here are the items that I'm picking up. I'm really excited uh, for all these products. We got the goods and we're out. Okay, so we're headed in the car. At least my sister let me borrow the car, right? I would not come here myself with my bike. Never. We got the little ones here. Kimi. Cookie. So excited to see you. So I brought this over to my sister's place and she's gonna choose and see if she wants anything. So in the end, my sister doesn't want any hand soaps. Why? I don't like the smells. Aww. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me to um, Bath and Body Works. The people there are so damn nice, like exceptionally nice. The nicest store I've ever filmed at, for sure, hands down. I was even like, to one of the ladies, I'm like, do you think you could put the music a little bit lower? I'm like, you can totally say no. 
But I figured I would ask, because why not? If you say no, it's okay, no. But if you say yeah, then, you know, yay. Uh, so she's like, sure. I'm like, what? I feel like if I would ask that in a different way, they'd be like, get the hell out of here. No one needs you. <laughs> so firstly, I'm burning this candle. I got this little pedestal also from Bath & Body Works last year maybe but this candle right here is called be mine just in time for valentine's day it smells pretty good let me just bring you up front and center i really really loved um all of the hearts i mean bay yeah huh so that's the first candle that I ended up picking up. Let me share with you guys a few of the hand soaps that I picked up. So my sister didn't want any of these. I don't know. She just didn't like it. First, I picked up the Gin Gingham um, hand soap. This is one of my favorites. My sister kind of wanted this, and I'm like, no, that's the one I really, really want. So she's like, fine. Um, but I really love this one. I think it's perfect for the bathroom or for the kitchen. The second I smelt it, I was like, hey. Uh, then I picked up Daydream, which smelled, what does this even smell like? Mm, I don't even know. This also smells really good. It has like a very nice shampoo-y kind of scent, which I'm about that kind of life. Love that. And then this is one that I actually took out of my kitchen just to share with you guys. I got the Rose Water and Ivy. I'm telling you, once you put this, like wash your hands with this, you're like, who smells good here? It's me. <laughs> Not always is that the case. Um, listen, sometimes I need a shower. So basically my point of this is that this smells amazing and when you smell it on your hands after you wash your hands you're like goals go the next thing that i picked up was the aromatherapy sleep back black chamomile and bergamot hand soap i might end up giving this to my mother i don't know anytime i buy like hand soaps i'm like Leo, you don't need six like come on uh, so i i try to give it to like my mother or my sister didn't want any of these or like i don't know friends and stuff like last time i gave rifka a candle and she was like oh i'm like rifka you deserve a thousand percent more um but i hope you enjoy that but yeah she loved that candle and i think i gave her hands up too the next hand soap i picked up was first bloom i don't know how my sister didn't want this one this is very our style very um tied like like very um laundry yum yum all right and then oh and then one last one i picked up was lavender rose which looks like that Also, very nice. Not as good as the previous one, but still very yummy. Okay, and then I picked up three candles. So I picked up the Be Mine one, and I picked up Hibiscus Waterfalls. It smells so nice, very light. Basically, the promotion they had going on was every single candle was $10 off. So original value, $24.50, which I never, ever purchased a candle for full, full, full price at Bath & Body Works. So basically, it was $14.50. And then um, towards the end, like when I was checking out, I'm like, do you have any percentages off? Because I know sometimes they do. And she's like, yeah, I'll give you the 20% off. I'm like, oh. So I encourage you guys to ask. Because the, the, the worst thing that can happen, they'll be like, no. I'll be like, okay. But if, if it's a yeah, it's like, score. Anyway, I think I got all of these at a pretty, pretty good deal. Yeah, so Hibiscus Waterfall is Hiv. We're just making up new words here. And then I had to pick up a Vanilla Birch. This smells like a man I used to go out with. I don't speak to him anymore. Even if he would try to speak to me, and be like, I don't want to talk to you. Anyway, um, although I am dying to be like, yo, here, this is a present for you. It's you and a candle. I'm curious to know what he's going to say. It smells so so nice instead of keeping the memories i have with him and this scent i'm just going to create new memories of you know going into the spring months with this um yeah but that's pretty much it that is everything that i picked up from bath and body works i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed coming with me to bath and body works let me know by the way what other stores you guys would want me to go to i'm thinking i'm going to glossier they have a flagship flagship store in um in the city so i think that could be fun but yeah just let me know what other stores you guys want me to like film and then shop at because i feel like it's just a blast all right i think i'm speaking way too much right now <laughs> i am looking forward to reading your comments down below as per usual you guys know i always love to hear what you have to say and i will see you guys in my next video bye